can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. We are here. We are back. We are ready to do Carl. Oh, let me make sure I get this right. Carl Douglas ja, 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 Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> or just try to do the crane kick like the Karate Kid. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. We are about to get into it with the crew. As always, Hollywood DA. What's going on, brother? Not much, man. Uh, it's crazy. I've never... Well, I can't say I've never seen them because I saw them when I pulled up these pictures. But I've never knew who sung this song, like nothing about this song. I just know the song because, you know, everybody's going to fighting. And everybody's running around like little Kung Fu karate shoes, like back in the day and all that shit. Like, that's a real throwback, yo. You was yeah. in the neighborhood with like little cats who running around in karate shoes. You was in the hood. I just want to let you know. You were like, yo, am I in uh, 18th century China? No, you are in the, the ghetto. <laughs> like, yeah, that was a big thing, man. Uh, uh, and, and my peoples, yo, we we is famous for walking around with some white socks on and some slippers. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's just that, what we do. I guess that's close enough to karate shoes now. That's the new, the new karate shoes. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, man, Phenom 202, what say you? Phenom 202 D Day representative. Yo, uh, I, like Ali, I've never seen what Carl Douglas looked like. I did a little research. He's from Jamaica. Okay, mm. first of all. Oh, wow. So, okay. singing about <laughs> Kung Fu Fighter. All right. But the song came out in 74. It wasn't 74. Oh, I didn't know it was number one old. everywhere. Yeah. Number one, yo. This song. We, this we, song went number one? Number one. Wow. Well, okay. I didn't know that. I I'm learning so much. I mean, I've heard this song before. I'm not gonna lie. I have knew I had no idea who sung. I have no idea what the person looked like. And I damn sure didn't know that it went to number one. I mean I thought this I thought this I was, thought like it was a gimmick. I thought it was a, a funny, gimmick song. It yeah. Is, it, I, I mean I'm sure it is a gimmick song, yo. Like but, this is some shit. I I mean, like, when I say gimmick gimmick movie. like not a real it's supposed to be in jest versus Here's a gimmick to sell some records. I thought it was just a funny song, but I don't I know. It was I, a song I need to see it for a dude. movie. Yeah, That's I need to see what I've always dude. thought. Yeah. But you know, hey, let's let's look at this and really see what what is the deal with this song. And, and it made number one. So hey, <laughs> let's get into it, man. Carl Douglas Kung Fu Fighting. You guys ready? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. All right, in right, three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's a deep concentration with that. So he got the, uh, the mustache and everything, bro. Yeah, I know it, man. Oh, 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 oh. He is really empty. Oh, 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 oh. This dude wearing the, the karate suit and everything. Everybody was coming for Oh my god, he's 
freestyle about the dance or something. Yo, the cat is not feeling that at all. But I like this shit. Ain't nobody even moving, they ain't nobody even rapping or nothing. They just moving. I'm surprised they catch this ball. Hands and feet. There's a, there's a guy with a mustache to the left, ain't even looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Interesting video. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right, okay. Corey, Corey. What's your thoughts, man? I, I've, I've, I've never hated the song. I never hated the song, because it's a fun song. But watching this... Man, it's 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 like he's he's clowning, yo. I I, I don't I the, like the angle of it. He's just doing the same thing. The crowd is not into it. I'm surprised he even got I mean, through the whole performance I without getting upset. They probably told the crowd not to move or no shit. Yeah. So there's some people doing a little sack on the side. I mean, the crowd. It it was it's a weird choice as far as like doing it for like the uh, yeah, music video exactly. type of deal. But fuck that. I mean, I like the song. Yeah, the song. I like the, the song. The, the yeah. song is still the song. And, it, yeah. and it's going to be a classic forever. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Because this is about the time when the USA used to have like the uh, kung fu theaters on Facts. Sundays and shit. Oh, my god! I've been watching all them shits, the Wu-Tang and all that shit. This 36 before, Chambers. Yeah, before yeah. the Wu-Tang. I was watching the Wu-Tang. Like, uh, USA used to play them shits. Mm-hmm. And, Every and, Saturday, yep, yeah. and you'd be like, "Yo, everybody's kung fu fighting, yo. That's what we did, yo. That's what we it did." It was a big thing. It was. Uh, all right. So the song is dope. Yeah, uh, that was the first time I ever listened to the lyrics past like the first verse. Yeah, I had to lie. Uh, this for me too. <laughs> and Same. you know, with the with the Chinese melody in the back, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. that's super fire. Um, this was a disco song, so you knew it was gonna go off, yo. Um, I can see people in the disco dancing and karate fighting and shit, yo. But oh yeah, like I, the the aesthetics, like who sung sung this song, it it throws me off, yo. You know what I'm saying? I, it's a good I, song. Man. I'm with but you, Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So it's a good it is, song. It is, but, there was kung fu in Jamaica, yo. Jamaica, man. No, nah, you know Jamaica has a lot of Chinese immigrants, yo. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It, 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 they do, uh, you know. I'm a nerd about that know. shit. But um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 know. I can see how what Martin got Dragon huh. Jones from. Yeah. If anything, I said this you know, exactly. Uh, this is like a, uh, as my people say, a future callback. Because I don't know if this is coming out first or not. That drop kick, that drop kick bullshit uh, with the Irish shit. Drop kick Murphys. Yeah. Now uh, and then I take this like this little. Taking out a little Asian culture, like little flute, whatever, mm-hmm. is a lot better to me, you know. But maybe that's just because I'm. Oh yeah, this song is definitely a good song. I mean, it went to number one. I mean, so it's not like it's it was crap. What I've, which I think Phoenix is leaning on that too. It's just the aesthetics, the look, the performance. Seeing him dressed up in his karate stuff, doing this the whole time, and that stuff. I mean, is it's like, tough. Oh my God, what do you, you think know? he's aware, yo? No, I mean, but I, I'm not saying I'm not. What I'm saying is respect the gi, yo. I'm saying it, respect the gi. Like, I didn't expect it. No, I'm res- saying <laughs> unexpected, but respect was, the gi. Because the only black dude I've ever seen dress up like that was show enough, and then <laughs> Dragonfly Jones. <laughs> yeah, so, well, maybe because I got kids. I seen a lot of kids dressed up in their gis, yo, doing their karate. Yo. Respect the gi, yo. Man, yeah, I mean, my son, I mean, he was like on hop keto, like my uh, oh, younger son. I don't know. I yeah. thought Gee was from uh, Dragon Ball Z or something. Mm-mm, that's the name of the uh, the, the robe. The, the robe. Like the, 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 oh, the, the robe is called a Gee. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. I don't know anything about the culture. My apologies to everyone out there. Respect, yeah, respect but the, the that's gi, all, yeah. man. I mean, I, I understand what he's but it's doing. There's no difference in the costume. He's, he's, a, yeah, he's in costume. But it just looked like it was like, oh, uh, it just looked 
it just I, I can't even think of the word to describe what I felt, but I just felt it was costumey. And sure. it, was, it was. I felt. I and, felt good. It's like I, uh, felt, I felt awesome. I felt. But I'm going to listen to the song and love it. I feel and I'm going to be in song. my living room going, to, you know, like. I feel like I wanted to put my fist through something. <laughs> I, I felt. You want it? Yeah, I felt I might beat motherfucker you, you saying ball because I was fast as lightning. I felt a lot of shit during that song. My bad. Yo, every time I hear this song, I think about uh, the Big Trouble Little China, yo. Know? Like right. the beginning when they when they fought the uh, at the beginning where everybody was fighting yeah, the they, red team against the yellow yeah, team. Yeah, they played the song. They played the song on Big Trouble Little China. Hell no! I was, oh, I was about to say, hell no! I was about to say, yeah. I watched it. that movie many times. Because that's what because that's what the song reminds me of that of a yeah, fight scene. Because there was about fight. yeah, because it was a good fight, yeah, and, but, then, and then they brought the motherfuckers out. The motherfuckers, the uh, they brought the three motherfuckers horns. out. Yeah, they came Wind, out. Thunder came and out. lightning. That's yeah. what they brought out. Yeah, Wind, was, thunder, and once lightning. They brought them out. It was a wrap. Oh yeah, it was a wrap after that. But uh, yeah, Big Trouble Little China, great movie with by uh uh. Not, it's Kirk Douglas. Kirk, Kirk Douglas. Douglas. Yeah, yeah Kirk, Kirk Douglas. Douglas. Fantastic movie. And nice. if y'all don't know, Sex in the City's own. Uh, she's on there too. Looking yeah. fantastic. They're they're Kim both Petrello, great yeah. on there. Yeah. Well, let me ask. Let me let me say this. I want because I want to hear you guys. Watch. Body. Well, go yeah, ahead. Go keep, talking. Yeah. keep talking. Keep talking. Like, Lopan. Well, <laughs> you know, anybody watching this video, girl with you know, green eyes, <laughs> drop your favorite. Your favorite. Roddy movie and it's and the, I want to see I want to take a poll you I want to see what people was watching what moved mm. them in the karate so I just talk about Bruce Lee everybody seen Bruce Lee movies yeah but you know give us that one Chinese movie that that puts you or karate kung fu movie that puts you, you know in that atmosphere that you love love kung fu yo you know let's go around the horn real quick we can do that was there a particular kung fu movie that you remember watching back at this time period in the 80s that you were like even though you may not know the name it was like, oh my god, that I, that was that was my movie. I definitely remember uh, one particularly for me, which I really enjoyed. Mine so was I, called I, called yeah, the Cavalier. Mine was called the Cavalier, yo. Cavalier. Oh Cavalier, man. Yo. So one part, dude was fighting. He bit off somebody's finger, spit it, and went to his neck and killed him. Yo. It was crazy. Yo. <laughs> what? Oh god. Um, I think mine was. I think it's called the Thirty Six Chambers. Um, I think he's got a he's got a ball head and he's working his way through all the chambers. Yeah, the he was doing levels. all the different training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's, that was my favorite because yeah. he, I remember this one particular part where he chopped down like this bamboo tree and then he made these new weapons like these nunchuck type shits that he started yeah. using. That that thirty six chain so was great. They, they had some shit was like they had like things of water. He was doing yeah, water. shit and all that shit. I remember yeah, that. That was my favorite. That yeah. that was the one for me. And that's what Wu Tang got the thirty six chain. Yeah. Yeah. And you know I'm a drunkard, so my favorite is definitely to be Drunken Master, yo. Because I, I I remember that <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. No, not what's that? Or before that, it was it was it was Jackie like a, used to do movies back then. Yeah, yeah. It was an old school joint though. It might have been Jackie Chan. I just said no one's Jackie Chan. But it was an old school joint. It was like a drunken dude. He's coming to the family joint, eat and drink, whatever. And then mm. they'll let him get by. Some people came in, did some shit, and beat their asses. Like, they was trying mm. to mess with the, the the little family restaurant. He whooped their asses and did some shit. But, yeah, drunken master, yo. 78, Jackie Chan, yo. Oh, that was Jackie wow, Chan? I oh, never that, knew was, that was Jackie Chan. Yo, actually, wow. Let me pull it up. Cause wow, it's been so long. long it's been so time. long since I seen that shit. Like, yeah. Wow. If you look at the pictures, it's him, yo. Like, I, I remember the movie. Like, like man, I don't even remember that movie. But that's that's. Yeah, a he good was tour, drunk. Man. He was a drunk. He was a drunk ambassador, yo. Yeah. He had the bubbles. He was burping the bubbles. Yeah. Oh like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, yeah, 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 it is Jackie Chan. Oh cool. shit! Wow, like the... that's incredible, yo. He was doing this. Seventy eight. Jackie yo. Chan is fantastic. This guy was doing this stuff back in nineteen seventy eight. But just the way, fucking incredible. Just the way he was fighting in that shit was just straight comedy to me, yo. Because he'd be like, because yeah. he'd fall up against the wall or some shit, which is exactly <laughs> like, how Jackie Chan like, fights like, now. But, but but yeah, but you know, well, this was like, exaggerated. It was exaggerated, like, like, Cause drunk, he, like psh, psh, yeah, because he'd be drunk and shit. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> people think they're gonna whip his ass. Just be, like, they're trying to take the hands of a drunk dude now. Nah, yeah, dude. I am going to go back and watch this. I really, I've never seen it, but now that Jackie Chan has seen it, uh, I, I've got to go back. I got to go back and watch this because this looks good. Wow, this is fantastic. Um, this is great, man. I could really go down the rabbit hole of Chinese theater or. 
any other Asian influence yeah. movies that I watch. You know, I mean, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was a great one that I watched um, in the 2000s, I think, when it came out, or yeah, that was a late one. 1990s. Yeah, that was, that was really good. So Yeah, that joint was like nominated. I don't know if it won anything. I think it might have won Academy Award or something. Right? Yeah, it should have. It was, it was fantastic. Yeah, I think it did work, so it was fire. Yeah, it was that great. Was well, man, there we go, man. Man, um, everybody was kung fu fighting on this, and we definitely went down memory lane. Like Peter said, don't forget to please put in the comments below any karate kung fu movie that you guys grew up on that you really loved that got you into that. We'd love to know in the comments below. Other than that, I'm Corey Roy. That's Hollywood DA, Pino 202, and we'll be back at you with another reaction. Peace. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. I think you'll get with this because this is where it's at.